Ms. Sutton. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We're all familiar with the numbers, millions of uninsured, millions of underinsured, Americans across the country uh, falling into bankruptcy due to medical debt. These numbers cry out for reform. But Mr. Chairman, the fear tactics are in full swing. Those who've been profiting so long under our current system are piling it on. The Washington Post reported that the healthcare industry is spending $1.4 million a day in this fight. But the American people are smart, and by 70 percent, they support a public option to compete with private insurance to improve our system. As a state representative in Ohio, I work to try to stop insurance companies from unreasonably delaying or denying care that people had paid for. And during that work, I came to know a bright young woman by the name of Linda. And Linda worked in, an, as, in HR at an insurance company. And she had a family history of a very aggressive type of breast cancer. So when Linda was stricken, her doctor wanted to treat her aggressively, but the insurance company overruled her doctor and denied her coverage for the care that the doctor said she needed. So Linda and her family tried hard to raise the money, and after months of delay, eventually she had the procedure. We can calculate the financial cost to the family for the den denial of care Linda experienced at the hands of the insurer, but we will never know how much the delay cost Linda by way of her health. Linda died the following year, but she kept fighting until the end to ensure that others with insurance would not be denied by an insurance administrator the care that their doctor determined was needed. At Linda's funeral, her young daughter read an essay that she had written about how her mom was her hero. Because not only did she fight against her disease, but she also fought her insurance company and fought to make sure that others would receive the care that they need when they need it. Shortly before her death, Linda sent me an email that I have kept ever since. She apologized that because of her illness, she could no longer come out in public to continue the fight. Can you imagine? She was dying, and she apologized because she was not physically able to come out and fight to make our system work. Well, I'm here to fight to make our system work. By injecting competition into a system that has left millions uninsured, millions underinsured and has allowed unreasonable delays and denials of claims to persist, doctors will once again be able to treat patients. Mr. Chairman, people need access to affordable quality coverage and care. It's not just they who will benefit, but as a whole we will all benefit. As health care costs continue to rise year after year, families, doctors, hospitals and businesses are all struggling to pay the rising costs. The details of what we come out with matter, and I look forward to a good product. And I hope, Mr. Chairman, when we are done, there will never be a reason for a child to ever again write and read an essay at her mother's funeral about how her mom was her hero because she fought her disease and her insurance company at the same time. And I yield back. Thank you, Ms. Sutton. Mr.